Oh, that's, oh, that's not Lenny. Oh, are we pissing? This game is whack. Giving me experiences I never thought were possible. <laughs> oh, I feel like we're gonna have to murder some people. What's five finger fillet? Blink away the tears. We must not let them escape from our tear ducts. They're like, what the fuck is a tumbleweed? I'm like, you, you don't don't know what a tumbleweed is? It's not really my place to get involved, but like here I am, we're gonna get involved anyway. Don't you manhandle You were stabbing me, sis. <gasps> Hi everybody, it's your girl Tofu. Today we are back with some Red Dead Redemption 2. Let's get into it. My voice was... <clears throat> my voice was so high-pitched for that intro though, why? <laughs> Hi everybody, it's your girl Tofu. Yeah, it's a cloudy kind of day today. Look at that. Doesn't look like I have Morning any chores Arthur. to do. Wait, wait, I see a chore. A Swanson singing, oh my goodness. Wait, what are you doing? Yeah, go forward, let's do some chores. Morning, Arthur. Hey, how you doing? Hey, so that fella who's hassling you in Valentine. I'll tell you another time, okay? Okay, sure. All right, well, I should be getting on. Sure, Arthur. You did good in town, finding out about that train. Thank you. It was fun. Well, I wouldn't say it was all fun. Okay, I'll catch you later then. All right, Arthur. How? Wait. Is it just super early in the morning? Why are the girls, like, asleep? Look, she's conked out. She's fucking asleep too. Move hay to feeding point. Which is the opposite way of where I was going. Just right in front of this horse. Just right there. Yeah, that's good. Oh, it's been a while since I've chatted with you. So, you met Sean? Not really, but I've heard him. <laughs> yeah, he ain't the retiring type. Anyway, I won't disturb you. Sure. She's looking a little less stressed than she was a few episodes back. Good morning, Arthur. Good morning, Air Strauss. There's something kind of relaxing about doing chores. All right. Hello. Hi, Susan. <laughs> Our plan for today is to finish chores, and then we're going to finish some of Air Strauss's debt collecting things, and then I think we're going to do something with Dutch. I think that's what my plan is for today. What have you been up to, Arthur? You look odd. You wanna talk? Sure. I don't know. I just don't feel myself. You've been out a lot. Sure. Anything fun? I've been bad. I've seen all these people who needed help. And uh oh. I just ignored uh Oh. Them. That's it. Sorry. Well. Also killed a bunch of innocent folk. I don't know why. What? What's wrong with the art? I seem to remember only killing one guy. I just get so angry. And he about everything. He robbed me. How this is gonna end? Well, it'll only end well if you keep your mind, Arthur. We need you. Oh, Karen, you might be growing on me, girl. I know. She might be growing on me, Dr. Karen, my therapist Karen. You know what? She might be okay. Thanks for chatting with me, girl. I kind of appreciate it, not gonna lie. Idleness is betrayal because it means I work so you don't have to. That's not right, is it? I guess not, miss. You're right not, missy! On! Grimshaw is so mean to the girls. I think it's a little unfair how mean she is. She could be strict and kind, I don't know. Look, she's just, she's just stomping away in a fuss. Thank you, Arthur. You're welcome, Pearson. Okay. I was just about to move those. Sure. Why are you walking around so sad? I'm not sad, just bored. You're bored? Bored's good. Bored means you ain't scared. Grateful for being bored, lady. Soon enough, you're gonna be scared. When I was a little girl, I guess I hoped for. I don't know. I used to dream a lot. We all dreamt a lot. Then we grew into women. 
saw what the world was for us. Hmm. How little it values us. Oh. Guess. Cheer up. Smile. Try to forget about things. Okay. Either that if you're or still praying poor, real hard. Nobody's stopping you getting out there making some money. Arthur. Come on. Ain't that bad. What would you know about being a woman? Nothing. Forget I said anything. Okay, well, let's talk <laughs> more later. I guess. Abigail. I'm so sorry. I wish the women felt a little bit... Oh, wow. It's stormy. Oh, wait. Morning, Mr. Morgan. Good morning. It is. It is. It is. Morning, Arthur. It is real stormy today. Look at that. That is looming over my head. Well, we've done some chores. We've talked to a few people. Oh! Oh, I want to check in on you! You missing your tree yet? I feel like chopping it down. <laughs> we'll all be watching you. Well, I should get back to it. But take care. I'm so glad we let him join the group, guys. I hope he doesn't disappoint us or, like, betray us. I'm That's what I'm really hoping. Wait, I still have another chore somehow? I thought I've done all of them. I've somehow been doing chores for, like, 15 minutes, though. There you are. Hi, Uncle. Hey, you. When you gonna let me take you out for an evening into town, Ooh. you know, to a, like a magic lantern show or some such? Well, I don't... I think I'm getting a little long in the tooth for... Oh, nonsense. <laughs> How about tomorrow? There's a romance going on between what them? I think. So that's a yes. Okay. <gasps> well, if I'm gonna go out with you, I'm gonna have oh, to... Oh, Uncle. Can I borrow ten dollars? Uncle, you had Can to I ruin it. A few I'm good for it. Borrow money. Oh. You horrible man. Damn it, Uncle. You were doing so well. well you can't blame a fellow for trying. <laughs> Stupid person. Oh my goodness. Maybe Grimshaw could get a little action and be less cranky with the girls. But no, Uncle had to ask her for money. Big tisk. Big tisk, Uncle. I think the entire camp would benefit from Grimshaw being laid. Ugh. Alright, so we've done chores. We found we have caught a few interactions. Now I want to go after a few of Strauss's. I think we have like two more of Strauss's debt things to do. Um, let me see if I can find them here on the map and like establish a waypoint. Because I'm learning like that. Oh, we still have the- oh, we have the Mary Linton thing! Oh my god, y'all, I'm actually so excited about that. We should do that after Dutch. Thomas Downs. This is what I want to do, right? Well, I sure hope so, because it's what we are doing. Now, a lot of you were angry with me that I'm not going faster when I ride, but I, I like the pace that we go when we just press down X. I don't really feel the need to go faster. If, it, if I think in editing it looks too boring, I'll edit it out or I'll edit writing down. But in general, I like the pace that we go when we ride. Well, it might change. We might want to go faster in the future. As of right now, I just like holding down X, looking at the scenery, and just kind of chilling out when we're going from one destination to another. Again, that can always change in the future. And and, and if it get if, if and if the 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 and if it does get too repetitive, I'll cut it some down or I'll cut some out or speed it up or something. But in the meantime, I'm happy with this. Mm. So pretty. I really love Old Dutch's chain, Sally. Run them down. Easy. Oh, bye bye. Are they coming after me? Oh, wait, I don't want to lead enemies to camp. Fuck! You know what? Just run away. Just run away. We don't want to lead enemies to camp. What do I have on me? We got this gun? Alright, time to kill some people. Time to kill some motherfuckers. Kill them! Oh shit. Ah! Where are they? Where's the rest of them? Wait! 
Wait, how are you still alive, though? Now, yep. let's leave before anyone suspects us of anything. Or should I, like, loot their bodies? I don't know, that seems kind of risky. But, like, I also want to loot their bodies. But that seems kind of risky. You know what? Let's just keep going on our way, you know? And let's put away our gun. Because I'm a responsible young lad. Mm-hmm. See, like, there could have- that could be a witness right there. See, like, he could have- he could have seen me looting the bodies. Um, so I'm glad we killed them. But, like, also, I feel bad. But, like, mm. Well, that was- that was a way to get my blood pumping first thing in the evening. Ten o'clock at night. Lily May. Lily May, you think you're so great. Strutting around. Nose in the air. Oh, are you okay? Holding hands with that dump. Hold on, kid. You care about this girl? Stand up for yourself. She'll come around. Yeah? I've been waiting. Is there anything I can do to help you? Oh, buddy. Trust me, kid. There ain't so many good men out there. Make yourself one of the good ones. Thanks, mister. I hope you're right. Oh, You know, maybe we'll have something good to tell Karen next time we're in therapy with her. Because <laughs> we just helped someone. We made someone feel a little bit better about themselves. What's up, Day? I'll show you. Oh, Poor guy. A nice... Big house. You'll be begging me to court you. Well, <laughs> that's some wishful thinking, but it's good to have goals, my friend. It's good to have goals. Oh, I feel so sorry for him. Good morning, partner. Wow, a lot of activity already. Even got birds up there flying. There are just so many great little details in this game. I'll probably be playing this game until my birthday, though. Like, June? I'll probably finish this game in June, though. Like, I don't know that's what you guys tell me anyway. Because I don't upload very often. But it, I, I, I'm trying, though, because I'm uploading really long... Um, longer videos, so... Retrieve the debt from Mr. Downs. Corresponding maximum? We've reached the maximum? You, uh, uh, whatever do you want? <coughs> How do I get in here? Mr. Thomas Downs? You owe me money. Uh, oh, no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm... We ain't a charity, Mr. Downs. It, mm. That debt weighs on me heavily. It's going to be paid. Really? Threaten me, would you? Oh, please. I have a family, sir. Please. I don't care about your family. But there might be witnesses. Just threaten Why him. Why did it have to come oh. to this, huh? Mm. Believe me, sir. I didn't want this either. You ain't such a do-gooder, are you? If you're running out on debts, I'm I'm not running anywhere. I'm I'm I'm, do, I'm doing my best for you. Oh. You are a slippery little bastard. But I got you now. Please, please show some compassion, please. I don't want to beat you, sir. You needed to beat. You saying he was right? What will that solve? Be reasonable. <laughs> you borrowed money from my business partner, Herr Strauss. You owe him, you took the money. He wants it back, what's not to understand? <laughs> Where's our money? I don't have it. Well, that's obvious. Sell your place. We already owe more than it's worth. <laughs> then sell your wife no. or your family or something. We ain't your idea of charity. Is that clear? <laughs> Thomas! What are you looking at? 
Thomas! I said what you looking at, woman. My husband isn't well. Oh, he... If we could just have more... Like I said, we ain't nobody's idea of charity. Get us the money. I feel so bad, though. If he's sick, beating him wasn't gonna help him. So, so far in this episode, we've killed people, we've threatened people, we threatened a sick man. A slippery man, but a sick man, <laughs> nonetheless. And, oh, I mean, they were O'Driscoll's. But O'Driscoll's are still human, just kind of remember um, what Kieran said in the last episode. That these guys, our crew, they're not so different from the O'Driscoll's. Well... So he doesn't have anything. So what can we do? I guess we just tell Herr Strauss. Hello, Mary Beth. Hi there. All right, Straussy. I'm sorry. I did the best I could, but I'm pretty sure he's on his deathbed. I I swear to God, he was coughing up blood there, but or it could have just been saliva. Kind of seemed like blood, though, you know. Okay, he's not at his desk. Ah, he's sitting out here. Ah, how did you get on? Not so good. Not so great. He's almost dead. And they seem more or less destitute. You were a fool for lending them the money. Well, people who aren't desperate don't seem so interested in my propositions. Of course. Is that it? We're just done? Well, I don't feel very satisfied. That wasn't very satisfactory. Oh, there was like no resolution there. I want to look at the details real quick. Arthur attempts to reclaim the debt from Thomas down, so finds him to be destitute. Complete within two minutes, ten seconds. So we failed. Well, I mean, we did it, but we were, we just took longer than that. All right, let's see what what's his face is up to. Oh, should you know? Someone briefly explained oh, poker to John me. John was looking for you, Arthur. He's over by the tree behind the campfire. He was. Uh mm huh. -hmm. Okay. Thank you, Miss Grimshaw. Is that the one that's blinking? Just a little. Oh, it's not blinking anymore. Maybe let's continue. Oh, Dutch is his name. <laughs> let's continue with what we were going to do with Dutch. And then maybe we can say hi to John. Arthur. Dutch. Miss O'Shea. Well, feels like we are finally getting back on our feet. You uh, find a buyer for them bonds we stole? Not yet. But Jose is working on it. Good. When we heading west soon I don't know feels like things have changed mm. the whole world's changed and they don't want folk like us no more I wonder why <laughs> we're being hunted we are smarter than them only the feeblest of men take jobs in the government <laughs> I hope so trust Dutch Mr. Morgan you have to they got Micah Dutch Arthur, what's going on? They got Micah. He, he's been arrested for murder. He was in Strawberry It's okay, and... son. Breathe. They nearly lynched me. They, they got Micah and the sheriffs in Strawberry. And there's talk of hanging him. Here's open. Uh, Arthur, uh, what? Uh, uh, the fool brought this on himself. You know my feelings about him, Dutch. You think I can't see past his bluster to the heart inside? He is a fine man. No. I ain't saving that fool. I can't go. My face will be all over West Elizabeth. I am asking. He would do it for you. I don't think he would, but <laughs> fine, all right. Arthur. You okay, Lenny? Yeah, of course I'm okay. You don't seem okay. You take that kid into town. Valentine, not Strawberry. Get him drunk. And Arthur? No crazy business. I've given that up. And you get Micah out of that jail. So are we going to Strawberry Valentine? Come on, son. Which one is it? 
I'll get to it, Dutch. Just can't drop everything. Well, I guess we'll find out. This is my horse, right? Because I'm pretty sure I put my horse over there, but we might have... Oh, we are going to the... We are going to Valentine. Lenny. Oh, I thought there was an option to talk to him. Nope. Karen, what you doing? Come on! I rode as fast as I could. Didn't stop for nothing. That's good. Yeah, you look like you've been through it. <sighs> I'm beat. We finally get off that mountain, then this. Micah's got a crazy side off it. What were you boys doing? You are supposed to be scouting ahead for us. I kept asking him what we was doing, but he was... You worry too much, kid. Just just some business to attend to, kid. You know how he is. Mm. Yes, I do. He was half soaked before we even got there. Then we ran into some fellas. One of them, like a new, drank some more. And this is supposed to be a dry town we're in, too. And then he shoots one of them. I know how that goes. Great. Couldn't even tell you quite how. Happened like the strike of a match. The law was on us fast, too. They was ready to strangle me up there and then. But I got away, just about. You're all right now. We'll take care of it. So you're gonna go get him? I'll come with you. No, you leave it to me. For now, let's drink some. Forget about market. It was drink that started all this. We'll just have a cup. Settle you down, then head back, okay? Okay. Now... now mm. I should warn you. Me and a couple of the other boys, we got in a bit of a fight last time we was here. Yeah, just a little one. What kind of fight? Oh, nothing big. No, we kept it clean. We're all good. <laughs> if you say so, Arthur. <laughs> you know, it kind of seems like Micah's situation should take the priority, but I guess we're going drinking instead. But I really think, like, if, if he's in danger of being killed or hung, like, don't you think we should go rescue him right now and then come back and drink later? I mean... All right. Okay. None of my business, I suppose. <laughs> Not a big deal, I guess. But I guess we're gonna go drink and relax and hope that Micah doesn't get hung in the meantime. <laughs> and hopefully no one in this town is mad. Too mad what we did in the bar. But I'm pretty sure we've been in here since that bar fight. Or at least definitely after the bar fight we explore town a little bit. Oh! I went the wrong way. I always go the wrong yeah. way. I always want to go straight instead of going um, to the right and then forward and then left. Oh, the, yeah, because I'm pretty sure we went into Valentine last time and I pet the doggo that's around here. Okay. Wait, I kind of want to hitch my horse here. Ooh. Oh. Oh, what are you doing? <laughs> Oops. I, I was going to just hitch my horse right here. Oh, we're riding to the saloon. Oh. Okay, I was just gonna. Okay. Oh, so bright. Here we are. Where? Let's maybe. Oh, we can just hitch our horse here. I didn't even notice that. Go to the bar. Not like the music that's playing. Just one or two. Right off of? Of course, just a drink. No big drum. Can we get a couple of beers, please? You! I don't want no trouble. Well, you'll get none from me. I was defending myself. Tommy, he's... He'll be fine. Here, have one for yourself. Thank you. <laughs> mm. Micah seemed to know a lot of people. That was the problem. How you mean? I mean, I done seen a lot of crazy, crazy Not stuff, but Micah... A lot of crazy, crazy stuff. Will you shut up? Will you shut up? Be quiet, buddy. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, there, Dullert! My lord, you men is dull. <laughs> hey, leave this fool alone. Leave the fool alone. People been leaving me alone for the last ten years. Listen, buddy. You're a charming fellow. One of the best. But me and the kid here, we're trying to talk business, so could you possibly leave us alone? No offense in ten. Ain't no pleasing some folk. <laughs> just, just trying to be friendly. <laughs> That's fine. Oh. <clears throat> oh, we really drinking today. Well. <laughs> Great Poor Micah. <laughs> Lenny, Lenny, where are you? Lenny, where are you? Hey, you see my friend anywhere? Sorry, I don't know. Oh, we are. Oh, oh, we are hella drunk. Lenny? Oh, look at us! Look at the way Lenny. everything's distorting. This is glowing. Maybe he's in here. No, nope, maybe not. There's a back door. We don't really want to go there. Look at how everything's distorting. Reminds me of Uncharted 3 when Drake was, you know, like, uh, kind of poisoned, you know? With a dart. You know which way my friend went? Wouldn't know. Alrighty. See that fella? Maybe in here somewhere? No, it doesn't look like it. Oh no. Lenny? Oh! Get out! Oh, that's, Sorry. Oh, that's not Lenny! Did Arthur just chuckle? Oh, good lord. I'm pretty sure I saw a little bit of titty right there. Okay. What are you doing, kid? Hello, off. Wait, where is he? Oh, he's right here. What are you doing? You know what? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna be kicked out, y'all. <laughs> are you drinking more? Oh! <laughs> Why aren't you never married? <gasps> oh, Arthur! That's the thing, you see. Is it... Lenny? They are rip roaring drunk. Lenny. Oh. oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, we're getting more and more drunk. It's harder to see where we're going. Oh no, I think Lenny may have gotten into a fight. Leave the kid alone, you goddamn animals. Who do you think you're talking to? Nobody. I'm talking to nobody. What did you say? What? I said, what did you say? Get lost, buddy. Shut up, mister. Yeah. Shut your mouth, mister. His head looks so funny. What is... We're live dancing now? Oh, are we pissing? Oh my god, we're pissing. This is an experience I've never had to experience before. This game is whack. Giving me experiences I never thought were possible. I never wanted to believe they were possible either. Oh lord. Oh, we are fucked. Oh, we are fucked. Lenny, where are you uh. now? Lenny! What? Lenny! Bastard! Am I hallucinating? Oh, oh, we're hell drunk. Oh, Lenny! oh no. <laughs> Found you, Lenny. <laughs> it's not the right How person. Many you had, pal? Too many. Wait, so <laughs> look at our names. Oh, we can't even read right in the menu. Y'all, this experience is. is. Uh, let me guess, you're not Lenny. <laughs> 
look very Do I look like a Lenny to you? Look very stylish, Lenny. Oh, I'm hella drunk. Damn it, Lenny, stop slumping off on me! I'm Clyde. You got the wrong fella. This is crazy. Oh. Oh, what are you doing? Trying to find your bitch ass! <laughs> oh! <laughs> We're just bitch slapping each other! These transitions. Yeah. Cheers. Y'all are drinking so much. Stop it. Cheers. Not you again? No. Oh no. What are we doing? I don't want to dunk him, but I guess we will. I don't want to drown him. I don't want to drown him. You can't make me drown anyone. I've never been drunk, but when I was drunk, it was not like this. <laughs> I think I sat on my couch, laughed at the kitty litter when I tried to clean the cat box, and then I was watching TV, and then I slept. That was, that was my experience. And laughing, I was laughing a whole lot, but I wasn't like, you know, so this looked like shrooms, you know? This is what shrooms look like, I feel. Maybe not shrooms. LSD, maybe? I don't know. But I, I feel like... I feel like that... It, everything was very colorful and vivid. I don't... That doesn't seem very alcoholy ish You moron. Not again. So where's Lenny? Oh, we... <laughs> oh, God. Where's my fucking horse? At least we got a mission, I guess. Alright, that should help a little bit, right? Maybe we should, like, eat something? Should we eat one more thing? I don't know. Oh, we can rest like this. We can just like sit down for a moment. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, we could set up a camp. Oh, that's pretty neat. Where's my horse? Oh, that's not my horse. That's someone looking like they're evading the law. All right. Well, <laughs> we need to go find our horse. Oh, shit. Didn't mean to do that. And then let's go rescue Micah. <laughs> If he's not dead by now. How did we get all the way out here? When we were stumbling around like that. Look at this. On the bright side, I really like the music. For some reason, it kind of reminds me of uh, Life is Strange music. A little bit. Oh my goodness. We're just like stranded out here. <laughs> I just need a horse. I just want to go grab my horse. I'm still wondering how we managed to get all the way out here without our horse. And while we were drunk, <laughs> should we go save Micah without a horse? That might be faster than trying to go get mine, but... Oh. That looks like some drama right there. What is happening up there? Well, hopefully I don't run into... I don't run into any ragamuffins or hooligans because 
I don't have a quick way to escape, seeing as I do not seem to have a horse on me at the moment. All right, all right, we're finally back in Valentine. Now, I wanna know what's happening over there, kinda, but let's grab our horse. I don't wanna travel anywhere without my horse. Oh, oh, we're finally within range. Yes! Nathan, it's been too long. Hey there, buddy. It's been it's too long. Boy. Oh! We did miss him, didn't we? All right, let's grab our hat. There it is. Got our hat. Let's go rescue. Well, actually, let's go check out what's happening here first. This smoke. I want to know what's happening here. And then we can go save Micah. That's what... If he's still alive, we've waited quite a bit of time to save him. He'll probably be fine. <laughs> Kill people? Hopefully these ones are the bad guys. Cause these are the ones I'm shooting. Wait, how are you still alive? God damn it! These- I'm pretty sure I saw these guys earlier. Appreciate you stepping in there. Those bastards been turning the screw on me from day one, saying I gotta pay them protection money. I told them where to stick it, and well, I guess you just saw how that panned out. <laughs> okay, so we did something good! So you wouldn't mind if I, like, looted them, right? Let's go talk to them. I needed to loot first though, you know? All right, let's go talk to these guys. The sons and the dad. Well, I'm sure you got things to do. Stay out of trouble. I'll try. What's going on with you guys? All that for this crap piece of land? You'll be all right. Just stick it out. I just want to go back home. Where are you from? Yep. <laughs> Arthur just says, yep. That's it. Oh, I thought there was another person. Oh, you. You'll be all right. If I could only turn back time and say no to this. Oh. All right, then. <laughs> wow. We could probably, uh... We... <laughs> well, don't let me keep you. No, well, you're, you're still a white dot, though. Anything I can help you with? You're a white dot. See, what's why is that white dot blinking at me? What does that mean? I thought we there. There's no other option to talk to him. Well, don't feel you have to hang around on my account. I think that's all I can do. That's so weird though. He's still showing up on the map. I guess I'll just rest next to you for a minute. Well, look at our incredible balance. Look at that. <laughs> Sorry, it just look, it looks so funny the way he's resting. Well, I guess we'll be off. I don't really know why that white dot's here, though. I can assume it's the father, right? But... Can't really do anything about that. Can I help around this area? Oh! I don't want to steal from them. Will you keep your hands off our property? Oh, I'm sorry. I feel really bad about taking something. I just, like... It's such an impulse. Well, it looks like we're done because <laughs> it's not giving me the option to do anything else. So let's go save Micah now. He's been waiting long enough. <laughs> well, Micah. I'm glad we ended up killing the bad guys and not the good guys too. That's very fortunate. <laughs> All right, so how do we rescue Micah? Do we have to kill people or do we have to pay someone or? Hey, howdy. <laughs> that was a weird combination of hey and howdy. Hey, howdy. 
Oh, I feel like we're gonna have to murder some people. So anyway, I started blasting. <laughs> it's gonna be one of those situations, I feel. Hi. Hi there. And hopefully Lenny just made his way home all right. We didn't check in on him or anything. We we're just we just assumed he made it home all right. He probably did. He's probably just fine. What was that? Are you evil? We got company. Ah! Ah! Press on that. Oh wait, I died. Oh snap, I died rather quickly, didn't I? Snap. I think I, I was trying to kill O'Driscoll's, but I just wasn't doing it well. I have no idea what I am. Do I lose money each time I die? I think I lose money each time I die. It's like a fee for resurrecting or something. Well, no harm, no foul. We're still on our way to try and rescue Micah, so all should be well. What I've noticed about this episode so far- Oh! Okay, okay. I didn't run over the bunny. I'm so relieved. I'm so relieved. <laughs> What I'm noticing about this episode already is that there seems to be more just like random little interactions in this episode more so than our previous episodes. Look at all the animals! Look at them! There are so many of them at once! Rup running up- uh, rup- uh, rup- Running up ahead of me. There we go. I can speak English. Yay! Howdy! Thank you for not trying to shoot me. No, those O'Driscolls are still causing so many, so many issues. Well, actually, father and the sons, those were just outlaws, not O'Driscolls. <coughs> Puppy! Oh boy. Hello, boy. I want to pet him. I think this is a different puppy than the one in Valentine, but they all kind of look the same. Oh, so this must be a different kind of settlement. Hey there. Can I help you? Just taking a look. We're with the Appleseed Timber Company. Head foreman. Hey there. We're still getting started on this side, okay. but we should have some. Fine, big valley lumber for sale very soon if you're interested. I'll keep that in mind. We should be further along by now, but what can you do? I mean, <laughs> look at these dolts. There's not a brain between them. Listen, you got any supplies for sale? Food, medicine? We're starting to run low. I can't spare anyone to go into town, not the way things are going. I'd be happy to pay premium for them. I don't think I have anything, but... I don't want to sell all. Let's just sell like one of them to help him out. I always find a lot of cigars, I feel, so. And, oh, you can have the salted awful. <laughs> um, what else? That's kind of all I want to give you. Chocolate bar. I kind of want to keep a chocolate bar. Appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, of course. That should help keep us going. Glad I could help out. I'm leaving. Don't work too hard. There ain't much danger of that with this bunch, my friend. All right, now, now we're gonna go save Micah. No more distractions. So, is it better to sell to the foreman than anyone else? Like, maybe in, uh, it's better to sell to the foreman as opposed to someone maybe in Valentine, or yeah. what? I'm hearing slightly concerning sounds, but you know what? We're just gonna ignore them. It'll be fine. It sounded kind of like a bear, but you know what? It's fine. No big deal. Not n No need to fear. No need to worry. No need to stress about it. Oh, we're kind of like... We should probably eat something ourselves, huh? 
Um. Are you gonna try to rob me though? Where is he? There we go. Where's the person that was like right here? Oh. Please, sir, please stop. Oh, I beg you. Oh, I'm in bad sorts here. I took a little jolt and have managed to get myself hopelessly lost. I am staying in Strawberry. If you could just guide me back. Mm. Can't think of a good reason to say no. Oh, thank you, thank you, sir. Come on now, Well, boy. after you. What possessed me to come out here, I'll never know. <laughs> Is he gonna hop on? Or do I just lead him back? Well, it's kind of what on the way, so that's good. Here, anyway? It clearly ain't your natural habitat. I don't know, I'm just visiting. I, I, I'm from New York City, actually. This must be different you don't for him, say. then. Oh, yes. There was some talk at the country club about this burgeoning... Sorry to interrupt. A resort town called Strawberry. So I thought it might be quite the trip to see what all the fuss was. Yeah. Perhaps make a few investments while it was still undervalued. And how's it going? You just Turned lost. Out I was made the fool. Aww. Not enjoying it, Dan? It's a town of splinters. Aww. If you could call it much of a town at all. I'd hardly stepped off the carriage and I'd taken in the whole place. I'm sorry, buddy. I suppose some might call it charming. <laughs> Let snort. me tell you, charm is not worth much these days. You show me a timber frame shack and I'll show you Broadway. Um, and meanwhile, you have this mayor, a quite intolerable blowhard. Oh. Who spoke woodwork and he thinks this is a cultural hub. Oh, no. The man's completely deluded. We're going to have to deal with the mayor, well, aren't I we? give him some credit. He must be quite the salesman. He did get me out here after all. More fool me. Now I'm tromping through the leaves in the muck with some cowboy. Uh, no offense. I'm honored that you think I'm a well, cowboy. <laughs> I'm just glad he doesn't think I'm a criminal. Wait, do cowboys have a... Uh, does, that ha does that have like a negative connotation to be a cowboy? Oh, I remember that. We're on the path. Is there someone behind us? Oh, there's a carriage behind us. Clear! I need the path. Sorry, buddy. I'm just glad to finally speak to someone who ain't my horse. Let's get out of the main road. There's all these people. All right. I'm glad we accepted this guy's request since we're already on the way. Like we're not having to go out of our way. We needed to go to Strawberry anyway to see Micah. So, or to save Micah. We gotta save everybody. No one can take care of themselves in this game. <laughs> How fast can I go? Oh, he's kind of slow. Well, that's okay. I don't mind waiting a little bit. I'll just go slow, lead him back. Is he gonna say anything else interesting? Oh, are we close to town? It would appear as though we are. I'm pretty sure I saw some sort of structures around the corner here. I don't want to aim weapon. I just wanna, I wanna chat a little bit more. Yeah. See, we're in town. Sir, you've rescued me from the depths. I'm glad. You seem quite the resourceful sort, sir. If for some reason you plan to spend any time in Strawberry, you may want to look into that gabbing mayor. Something is definitely off with him. Hmm. All right. I'll keep that in mind. Maybe stay in town for now, huh? A rock and a hard place. Thanks anyway. All right. Well, we let him back into town, so he's he's good now. We just got to keep going this way. Uh, New Yorkers. Jesus. Oh, some frame rate drops here. Whoa now. Oh. <laughs> that was funny. Where can I hitch my horse? I could just get off. Is this where the mayor is? The sketchy mayor? Yep. Yeah. Hello, sir. I've, uh, I've come from Blackwater. I'm on the trail of a dangerous gang. That's Como the... Driscoll. Oh! Heard you had some sort of incident. 
We don't deal with bounty hunters around here, son. I, I was just wondering if I could get a description. Well, they weren't friends. They got in a fight, two men got killed. Now, one of them's an idiot, the other's some kind of dumb mick, so maybe them's your boys. You can look right enough when we hang them. How do I convince you otherwise? Thank you, Sheriff. So, uh... Let me out of here, you maggots! Oh. Oh. Where are they? They might be around here. Maybe back. You think these bars can hold me? You hear me? No, no, we're done here. Just get the hell out. Oh. One more chance to get smart. Walk on out. I'm sorry. Goodness gracious! But I need to find Micah, and that. The yellow dot got bigger when we went down there. I don't know. Arthur! Oh. Arthur! Hello, old friend. Had a good time, did you? <laughs> you gonna get me out of We're here? We're gonna try. I ain't decided yet. <laughs> Real funny. Oh, I ain't joking, cowpoke. I heard so much bluster out of your mouth these last six months. And now... I got an opportunity to watch you be silenced. But well, you gotta do something. Why? I always looked up to you, Arthur. Well, that's your first mistake. Aww. Listen, there's one little problem. They're gonna there's hang you. one of me, and there's a whole town full of people wanting to see you swing. You got to do something, Arthur. Oh. Oh, those are vague-ass instructions. This wall just needs some good forcing. Find a way to free Micah. Well, gee, I don't know how to free him. Maybe that steam donkey over there still works. What's a steam donkey? Is it an actual donkey? Is it this? Oh, it might be this. Yes. Hook that over the bars. And see if you can pull them off. All righty. <laughs> I'm so silly. Is it an actual donkey? What a modern disaster this is gonna be. Just pull that lever. We're gonna like break Come this on. entire building, aren't we? All right, here goes nothing. Let's get ready for the destruction. Let's get ready for all the cries, the screaming. Time to go! Time to go! Let's get out of here, come on! Oh! What the hell are you doing? He wasn't O'Driscoll. Are you kidding me? Ah, I knew you were strong the moment I laid eyes on you. Oh! A quip a banana, bandana. Oh shit! I don't think we should kill people! Let's just leave. Let's just fucking leave. Oh good lord! I just want to leave this area! I don't want to kill more people! Oh, I have to. Oh, oh well if we gotta kill people, then I suppose we will. Is there anyone else? Micah might have been able to kill them all. <laughs> Except we died. Oh, Micah died. Okay. I mean, that was cool to watch, but it, it's bad. Let's restart checkpoint. Alright, I'm not supposed to run away. <laughs> I mean, if they're O'Driscoll's. We just keep dehumanizing all the O'Driscoll's. Don't go that way. Let's get the hell out of here. I got some unfinished business. Trust me, Morgan. Wait, what are you Trust doing? You. What are you doing? You have finally lost your damn mind. I'm moving. Oh, you're moving. Well. Goddamn maniac. Oh. You're in it now, Morgan. What oh. do you want to do? Micah, you're stupid! Micah, you're a big dumb dumb, you know that? Well, 
Well, I guess we're murdering an entire town and there's nothing we can do about it. Let's clear them out. Wait, I need this. We got more. Who else wants to step up? Come on. I'll bed down the You're gonna die now. Finish it. Let's go. Where are we going? Making a house call. Oh. More of these morons. We really should get out of here. Call yourself woman. Like I said, I he just called me a woman. Well, while you're doing that... Your name's Skinny, Micah. It's Norman. Oh. Oh, you always was a letdown, you oh. fat sack of crap. Oh. Excuse me a minute, Arthur. Oh. Well, I'll just wait Hello, then. Maddie. They had something of mine. My guns. I showed him, and I'll show the rest of this town. You have really lost it. Oh, I keep missing. Oh, y'all, I feel kind of bad. Where are they? Oh. Keep shooting! Don't give up on me now! Will you go down? Micah, you're Give fucking you crazy! Come on! This way! Yeah? Who wants to see me? Micah! You're fucking insane! Yeah? What the hell are you waiting? Reckon it's time we got out of here, Morgan. Now you want to get out of here. Wait, what happened? Oh, Micah died. Well, why does Micah keep dying? <laughs> this is his deal. I didn't really want to kill an entire town. A town with such a cute name, too. God, y'all. Micah, you kind of suck. We should have let you, we should have just kept you there. Oopsies. Oh, shit. Well, it's fine. Totally fine. I mean, just caused an accident on the highway. Let's get out of here before we get any more on our tail. Massacred an entire fucking town. That was some good shoot. Y'all, my horse. My poor horse. Morgan, I gotta hand it. What the hell was that you pulled back there? Got a bit wild, all right. A bit? Wild? Making a house call in the middle of all that? Ain't much I care about more than those guns. That much is clear. Who was that fella? Skinny? Yeah. We ran together for a while. Did a bank job down south. Didn't end well. I saw how it goddamn ended. He was gonna let me hang. I'm starting to wish I had. And you owe Lenny, too. 
He hadn't found us in time. Yes, you will all be thanked profusely. I promise. Hmm. Yeah, well, you're lucky Dutch has got your back. Some unknown reason. <laughs> Arthur is so savage to everyone he doesn't like. Or if he, no, if he doesn't love them with all his heart, he's kind of like indifferent towards oh. them. I think we finally lost him. Well, I hope so. I'm giving you a holster. My way of saying thank you. And thank you. There I was, having a dull day only for you. To liven it up by letting me help you shoot up <laughs> half a town. You're a funny fella, Arthur. Real funny. <clears throat> why you act all sour all yeah, the time? Yeah, well, you ain't funny at all. So why you gotta act like the court jester? Right, listen. I'm sorry, but we're family now. Arthur, you and me. <clears throat> Sons of Dutch makes us brothers. <clears throat> Sometimes brothers make mistakes. I'm heading back to my little camp where I'm back a strawberry. Come see me. Maybe I can make things up to you. You ain't heading back to Dutch? No, I've been a bad boy, Arthur. I ain't seeing Dutch till I can bring him a peace offering. <clears throat> I don't like Micah. <laughs> yeah. I really don't like Micah. <sighs> Y'all, I don't like Micah. I don't like how he had to deal with all of that. He forced us... He forced us into murdering an entire fucking town. I don't think we'll ever be able to return there ever again. How's my horse doing? I feel like my horse could be doing better. Alright, let's go back to camp, I guess. Goodness gracious. That was a lot of murdering for one day. Let's go back to camp and tell Dutch what a disappointment his other his other son is. I think my horse got hella injured back there because I bowled into another horse. Oh, I feel bad. That was just a mess. A scary mess. We don't like Micah. Mm -mm -mm -mm. It's kind of a haunting time of day. Look at this. Is the moon out? Kind of lonely looking, huh? I feel so bad. Micah didn't have to- we could have just escaped! We didn't have to murder all those people, Micah! And it wouldn't let me escape. I had to return to Micah, I had- maybe I didn't have to- well, no! If I didn't help Micah murder people, then he, he died. He just died so easily, he kept dying on me. It was kind of fun, but like, it was bad. <laughs> you can't hurt him. This ain't just! Should I- Keep your distance, you got a criminal here. Okay. Well, yep. maybe I shouldn't mess with it. <laughs> I feel like the bounty hunter knew what he was doing right there, so I don't want to mess with it. <sighs> that was a lot. I am looking forward to seeing Mary, though. That was her name, right? Mary, our old girlfriend, right? Oh, um, when Arthur was in the bar with Lenny, I felt so bad because he's like, because no one would have me. Because, like, Lenny was like, why aren't you married? Because no one would have me. I'm like, Arthur, I'll marry you. Caleb won't be too happy about it, but I'll do it. <laughs> oh, See, I feel like Arthur's a sweetheart. And I, when we were talking to Karen, it really told me that he feels bad about what he's doing. Because sometimes, you know how he seems like really fucking indifferent sometimes? Like, no, he feels bad. But now when we go back for our therapy sessions with Karen the next time, or maybe it'll be a different girl, but like, if we ever can do that again, with Karen. We're gonna have to tell her about all the nasty bad things we did and we're gonna feel so bad. I'm trying to not make him commit too many crimes. I'm trying to be a nice outlaw, but oh my goodness, Micah was making it real difficult. Well, real impossible there for a minute, actually. Look at the stars. That's so pretty. I was supposed to go this way. <sighs> Let's try to keep a semblance of morality intact. Wait. Who's there? Me, it's idiot. The hero uh, not so much a hero. I kind of murdered a few people. Just a few, though. Well, did we hitch the horse? Hey, boy. I really feel like we didn't hitch the horse right there. I'm trying to sleep.
sleep here. Sorry. I've forgotten what it was now. I need sleep. I'm sorry, Sadie. Well, I, now she's with the girls, though. Like, uh, she used to be just always by herself, but now she sleeps with the girls. So that's progress. She's beginning to feel, what? Uh, what's the right word? Assimilated? She's probably feeling a little more assimilated into camp now as a result, right? Well, out there. All right. Hey, get up. Uh, oh, oh, what is it? I didn't mean to do that. Sorry. Ah, it's none. I didn't mean to wake Leave him up. Me alone, I'm Arthur. sorry. I'm tired. Where's Dutch? Dutch, you made me basically kill like all the people. I, I have a few words to exchange with you, Dutch. Can I just go in? Yes, Arthur. You okay? Yeah. Just fed up with all the pessimism around here. What happened? I hear you. Well, I should get back to it. Or are we gonna? All right then. Are we gonna tell Dutch what happened or no? Well, at least I could just go into. I just barged into his tent. I'm feeling a little snappy with Dutch for making us do all these things. I'm not much of a story. Oh, is there gonna be a story time by the campfire? I, I, I don't have much to say. Life's always confused me. I, I don't feel I understand it very much. It's a mood right there. If I ever felt Other like. human beings seem to understand why they were born, but for me, it seems like I was born to oh. hurt and, and suffer myself. It's making my nose tickle my eyes water up. That doesn't always seem like a really good reason. Uh, I wish there was another way. But here in this land, uh, I feel very stuck. But, uh, um... I'm sorry to com complain. I... This is just so. Hold on. Oh. Can I give you a hug? Listen, Charles. You're about the best man I know. Hi. Charles, I'm sorry. Oh, there are just so many emotions in this episode. I don't even know Charles very well, but something about the way, like, I don't know, those lines were delivered. Oof, that hurt right there. That, that really hurt. Let's, um, sleep till noon, I think. We need some sleep. Alright, we are awake. Wait, what's over here? What's this glove? What's this over here? What's Five Finger Filet? Oh, it's a new game! Really? Hey, Arthur. That knife's sharp enough, ain't it? Depends. Why? You feel lucky? Oh, it's... Do you? It's not that oh, knife game, me, right? At least six generations were born in chains. And for the last three years, I've been running from every lawman and bounty hunter west of the Lanahassee River. So yeah, I feel lucky. I'm the living embodiment of luck. That is one way of seeing things. I'm just glad he's not lost out in the scared. middle of nowhere after being this drunk. Game, you got to have luck and skill. It's that game. And it's stupidity. that. The Outlaws Trinity. It's that Look, nice skill and just a dose of stupidity. No, Come on, I don't want to play you that. ain't too old and too slow I just am, yet. Though. After you, I am As very you slow. You know, we should head back up that mountain sometime and make Jenny a proper grave. Some nice. You liked her, didn't you, kid? Uh, well, sure. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I liked her. Now, don't get disheartened. I've been working on this. This has to be hurting. What? 
Oh, oh, oh no, it's like a shit ton of quick times. Did I do it too slow? Keep it loose. Okay. Here goes. All right. Oh, that's me. Ooh. Mr. Pearson? This is kind of fun but like very scary. blood this is the worst game ever have you guys ever done this in real life because I would never want to do this in real life I'm such a scaredy cat <gasps> does this look good because it feels good it does not feel good should we play again I mean, I'll play again. For some reason, I thought it'd get harder and harder each time we did it, but it, it's still like the same pattern. That fills me with nothing but relief. I'm like so tense just playing this stupid knife game. Oh, he won because he did it faster. Oh, I, I'm too scared to do it fast though. It's scary. Oh, he did very well right there. He didn't stab himself once. All right, well, I'm done. That was real fun. All right. Oh, do I have a cat hair? My I've got some more chores to do. Like to see. Me stabbing myself? Okay, I'll catch you later <laughs> then. All right, Arthur. How you doing? Oh, I'm fine. Happy to have Sean back. Yep. It'll never be quiet around here again. That was funny to watch. All right, well, I should be getting on. Karen, I need a therapy session. Today was a lot. I need help. Hi there, Arthur. There she is. Keeping out of mischief? Yes, unfortunately. All right. I'll leave you to it. Okay. All right. Mr. Morgan. Mr. Morgan, you saved my life, and I'm... Well, I'm very grateful. Don't mention it, Reverend. I made a fool of myself. We've all done it's it. It's okay, buddy. I just, I just, I get so confused and, and angry, and then I, I hear God laughing at me, and I get even angrier, and, well, I'm a real prized dolt. It's okay, I know buddy. It. Anyway, I won't disturb you. I guess. It's okay. Hey, Arthur. Oh, I could do something with you. Oh, but I really want to do the Mary thing. I kind of want to do the Mary thing. Hi, Uncle. Hey. Come have a seat, Morgan. We're discussing ladies' bloomers. <laughs> we are? There's no one else around you. A drink in your hand. What a surprise. Just taking the edge off. Hmm. Save some for the rest of us. Uh huh. Gotcha. <laughs> oh, is, this is Charles, right? Why can't I greet him? Hey. Hey. What are you working on? Fire arrows. Interesting. Mm. You give me a bottle of moonshine, I'll make you some. Moonshine? Mm. Whiskey do? No. It has to be moonshine. Whiskey ain't strong enough. Okay. Thank you. Oh, yeah, I can. My pleasure. I can get things for my companions. Oh. I think someone wanted a mystery novel. Um, I want to do the, was it Mary Louise? Maybe not Mary Louise. I hear you saved Mr. Bell from a hanging? That I did. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, I suppose he'd do the same for you. Woody? Exactly. D uh, Woody? <laughs> We're all in this together, Mr. Morgan. I know you know that. <sighs> of course, But like, he had me murder like everybody. Wait, she was talking about Micah, right? He don't like Micah. Ah, Mr. Morgan. You seem chipper. But where there's life, there's hope, my friend. And? We've been thinking about our problem all wrong. All wrong. That's all. What problem? Meaning? In what way? 
All in good time, my friend. All in good time. Share your secrets with me. Always the show, man. Oh, I want to talk to you. About you being a woman. All good, Abigail? Yeah. Starting to like this place. The boy, too. Oh, I'm glad. Good, I'm glad. That's good. Okay, well, let's talk more later. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah there's something so human about these characters, you know? Oh, is there some gossip happening around here? And then I want to go do the Mary mission. I want to go see our old girlfriend. Hello, ladies. Hey. Everything okay? I guess. Bored. Ha. <laughs> ha. <laughs> Tilly always has that weird right. twang when she greets you me. You okay? You don't seem yourself. Yes, I'm all right. Why? Okay, just making sure. Mary Beth sure is such thing. a sweetheart. Aww. I'm glad Grimshaw's not yelling at them yet. Alright, let's go do the Mary mission. We'll establish a waypoint. And then we'll be on our way. I'm glad that we have a little bit of time to relax. Before the game throws probably something else at us. Oh, do you think- Okay, we're wanted in Strawberry. Do you think we could, like, pay off a bounty on ourselves? At the- what's it called? The post office? <laughs> Dutchy's dogs, buddy! I told you he'd show! Leave me alone. Alright, buddy, listen to you, sir. Are they still gonna come after me? Or can they be done? Let's stop by the post office, maybe. Oh, is that a blo bloody animal? Oh my. Let's see if we can go by the post office. Where is the post office again? It was right outside Valentine. What are you playing? Hello, sir. What is what is that instrument? That sounds so funny. You got real talent, friend. Keep it up. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Or do we have to go to like Strawberry's post office, or can we just pay off any bounty at this post office for any town? Good to see you again, Mister. Hey there. Let's pay a bounty. How can one crook raise so much hell? Pay your bounty to stop bounty hunters. Wait, that's really expensive. Wait, you. But it doesn't say strawberry. Aren't we wanted in strawberry? And why are the bounty hunters after me in West Elizabeth? I don't get it. I'm gonna assume it's just fine. <laughs> Good day to you. Um, yeah, let's just assume it's okay. Or maybe, maybe those are bounty hunters Be because of strawberry? <laughs> Time to go, boy. Auction yard. Howdy. Howdy. Well. Hmm, where's the puppy? There's usually a puppy around here. Where's the homeless vet? I have always tried to find him, but I can never actually find him. Oh, maybe it's you. Hello, mister. Hey, brother. He blends into the bricks right there for some reason. I'm too old to get a job, mister. Way too old. You don't seem that old. Can't we be friends? Sure. <sighs> sure. <laughs> I'm so happy. Oh! I ain't had a friend. Oh, my in a heart! Long time. Long, long time. Oh, that hurts! My last friend died. <gasps> oh! It was my fault. They said it was, but they was wrong. Oh! It's fun being with you, mister. Can I hold you a second, mister? Can I? 
<laughs> he looks to see if anyone's okay, watching. Quickly. Oh, we finally get to give a hug oh, to someone. God. It's nice to be held sometimes. Oh, we used to hold each other in the war. You got sad eyes, mister. Like you've seen sad things. Oh. Remember with kindness. Oh, the homeless guys making me cry. Oh, no tears. Blink away the tears. Oh, puppy! Hi there. Hey, boy. Hey, boy. Oh, we cannot ruin our eye makeup today, my people. We must blink away the tears. We must not let them escape from our tear ducts. Oh, these puppies here to cheer us up. I swear to God. I swear to God, animals always know when you're upset. Because every time I look at the comments and I start crying, my cats are always there to comfort me. Oh, that puppy's so cute. I'm so glad we found him. I couldn't find him. But he came up to me. Oh, I almost ran over the puppy. Wait, could I kill accidentally like kill the puppy? Now that wouldn't be very good, would it? Is there... Another bounty to do on someone. Wait, what if the bounty is on me? Should we stop by and see the sheriff? No, no, we should not get... We, we will not get distracted today. We must go find Mary What's-Her-Face. That was just beyond... Beating up half the saloon like that? Near killing Tommy out in the street. Uh, he tried Come to on, kill me first. There's gotta be a fight every night in that shithole. Just show some respect next time. We've run far worse than you out of town before. Oh, come on, man. Someone throws a punch, you punch back. Don't bother pretending different. Hello there. As far as I care, you ain't even here. Can I be nice to you? I'm sorry. I'm causing all sorts of trouble, aren't I? All sorts of trouble. I've teared up like twice just in this one episode. The homeless guy really got to me, and Charles, oh, when Charles was talking by the campfire, I was ready to fucking cry. Oh, I was. I was ready to do it. Oops. I didn't mean to go in a circle right there. What, what, what are you doing? Mister? Hey, mister. Hey there. I like how I don't, I don't really have to hitch up my horse. He's kind of good. Well, actually, he's kind of running away. No. Oh, no. See, he's like, he like hitches himself automatically. Hmm. <laughs> I'm excited for this. I'm so, oh, we loved once and true. Oh, y'all, I am so excited for this. <sighs> yes? It's not you. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't right? mean to disturb you, ma'am. <laughs> Is Mrs. Linton in? Oh, Mary Linton. I'll go see. Not Mary Louise. I like she she opens the door with a gun. <laughs> a collar for you. That's a fucking mood too, I guess. She's pretty. Hello, Arthur. Hey. Mary. He took off his hat for her. I heard you and your friends was around. I. Okay. Where's um. Where's what's his name? Died. Oh, husband. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Ben. Yeah, me too. Me too. Happened a while ago. Pneumonia. Bad business. Sure. So, uh, well, you've been. <clears throat> you've been made a widow and. He's nervous come around here her. For me, is that it? No, ain't like that, Arthur. Oh, okay. Is he like kind of disappointed that that's Listen, not what Listen, Arthur, she... I. I'm. My family. I need your help. You mean the family that always looked down on me? And you want me to help? It's my little brother, Jamie. <laughs> I always liked Jamie. At least compared to the rest of them. <laughs> He's broken Daddy's heart. How? Daddy has a heart. Don't oh. make me beg you, Arthur. My money, my life, me. I wasn't good enough. I'm sorry. 
We need your help real bad. Little Jamie's joined the Chelonians, that strange religious order. Good for him. They're quite mad, Arthur. They'll kill him. You're the only person he'd listen to. So, I'm too rough to marry into your family, but it's okay to ask me to help in saving your family. I'm sorry. I understand if you don't want to help me, but... but I think of you often. Um, Long time ago now. I'm begging you, Arthur. I say let Jamie live Jamie's life and not the nightmare that his daddy dreamed up for him. Jamie's so innocent, Arthur. Please, Arthur. Will you help me? Yeah. <laughs> Where is it? Somewhere out near Carmody Dell, I think. The rancher there said he'd seen him around the Cumberland Forest. I just want him back, Arthur. If you find him, bring him to me at the station. I'll see what I can do. I'll owe you. You already owe me. I just wanted your love, lady. I don't want you to owe me. <sighs> Yo, I was hoping that would I hope I was hoping this would be kind of cute. I thought this was gonna be a cute encounter. It wasn't. She just wants to use us. Oh I guess we'll go rescue her brother. <laughs> I was really hoping for a love interest. And it uh, that just broke my heart, you guys. He wasn't good enough for her family. Oh, oh my heart. I was so excited for this encounter. How you doing, boy? And here I am tearing up again! Come on, Nathan. We're getting out of here. We're going on another oh, fucking adventure. I gotta go find this baby brother and convince him not to join a religious cult. Is that a javelina pig or a boar? I remember. I grew up in Arizona for most of my life. Oops. It's like a little pothole, but like a natural pothole. I grew up in Arizona for most of my life, and then I moved to Oregon for like my last year um, as a senior in high school. And I was, <laughs> one time I mentioned tumbleweeds or some shit, or javelina, and no one knew what the fuck I was talking about. They're like, what the fuck is a tumbleweed? I'm like, you, you don't, don't know what a tumbleweed is? It's like a little ball of like twigs and shit that like rolls, cause there's like wind, and, and I'm like, you've never heard of a tumbleweed? And they're like, what? The? No. Like, they knew what cactus were, but like barely. Cause I said cacti, and they were like, fuck do you mean by cacti? Okay, but like the whole javelina thing. I was describing javelina. I'm like, oh, you know, like the, the hairy, ugly kind of pigs, you know, like javelina, like they eat your mom's petunias growing up and they eat your pumpkins when you set them out on your doorstep for Halloween. And they were so fucking confused. They're like, I have never heard the word javelina in my entire life. I'm like, well, you're some indoor people, aren't you? <laughs> I qualify myself as an indoor person though. Can help a lady out? Sure. My horse up and died on me, twisted my ankle something fierce. Okay, Think you good. could give me a ride? A ride? Well, sure. Yeah, sure. Hop on. It seems a little. Oh, thank you, sir. Oh, thank you. Her horse is pooping right there. You know. Wow, she's Emerald going side Ranch. saddle. Mind taking me there? All right. You're not really on the way, but I suppose sure. I feel kind of bad about her horse. Glad I ran into you. Huh. I raised that horse, you know. Aww. Raised it since it was just a foal. I'm sorry it died. Oh, uh, losing a horse is hard. Sorry to hear that. Arthur lost a horse, yeah. right? Yeah. That horse did right by me. Better than my husband, truth be told. Oh. That fool. Always complaining. But does he do something about it? Man barely lifts his hand to wave the flies away. Aside from to lift a drink, of course. She's Marriage really opening up to me. It's been nothing but trouble. I'm sorry, but Lee. Biscuit, he was a fine animal. This gets a cute Loyal, name. Smart, brave. Didn't take no guff, not from no one. Had one of them mountain boys pull a gun on me once. I was riding up near the Dakota and had stopped by a nice warm patch. Must have dozed off, but I wake up and find some nasty piece of work pointing a rusty shotgun straight at me. Well, he gets wheezing on and I must have made some sort of noise because the next thing I know, Biscuit had nipped his ear clean off. Kicked his hide, too, as he was hollering away. Didn't think a man could run so fast. It's kind oh, of funny. Yeah. yeah, had a good laugh on that one. 
<laughs> I tell the husband, what does he do? Should have never gone over there, honey, he says. Gee, thanks. Very helpful. <coughs> oh, so, I didn't want to run over the bunny. You live at Emerald Ranch there? Sorry. For the time being. I was looking for work. They was looking for some help with the gardens. If I waited any longer for my husband to put food on the table, I'd have died of starvation. Oh. I'll be moving on soon, though. Emerald Ranch, well, it's a strange place. Huh. How so? The owner's a mean bastard. Strange, too. The light's in bullying folk. There's a daughter, but she never leaves the house. You me. You can see her in the window sometimes. <laughs> also me. <laughs> when I asked about her, everybody told me to leave it alone. Found an old saloon there. All shut down now. But I went in to have a look, and there's bullet holes, old blood stains. Something definitely happened Oof. there, but I couldn't figure it. Just an uncomfortable feeling to the place. Oof. Big oof. Either way, it's time I left. Especially now I lost that poor horse. Poor biscuit. I'll collect my belongings and be on my way. Back home? I guess. I bet my husband's right where I left him. Bottle in hand. Aww. Very chatty woman, but I'm glad she was able to open up to us. Confide in us, you know? Arthur doesn't really seem like a, a very inviting type person, you know? But I, I'm glad that people just open up to him anyway. Yeah, so this was actually very far off of where we were gonna go. But, um, that's okay. I don't mind helping out. Y'all told me that with this game I don't have to be, like, afraid of not doing the right thing at exactly the right time. Like, it, I can just kind of... If something comes up and I, it looks interesting and want to do it, I can do it. I don't have to be like, oh my god, I must stay on the main mission and not get distracted. Well, I mean, I try not to get... Well, when I pick a side mission or a kind of main mission that I want to do, I, I'm, I am trying to stick to that, that mission and not get too distracted. But, like, you can get distracted by the little things, I guess, and it's okay. But you guys reassure me that it's fine if I want to do these little things. Oh, we're getting close now. That's good. Hope I won't have to fight your husband or something. Damn, she was a she was quite a ways away, so I'm glad we gave her a ride instead of making her walk or something, like I've had to do in the past. All the livestock. Here we go. This is great. This was kind of you, Mister. Please take this as my way of thanking you. What'd she give me? Oh, silver emblem ring. That's cool. Appreciate it. Thank you. Oh, what a lousy day. Oh, someone's really close to here. What? What's it's this yellow area here? It's an interesting way of putting it, Shakespeare. Uh, no doubt. Huh. I do interesting very well. Well, we're here. I don't do so well. well like literally right here. I know how to work with good people, Seamus, and I work in the right way. Well, they all say that. I never met an idiot that called himself one. Very true. In that case, I'm an idiot. <laughs> Let's not get distracted with different but missions. I know how to get things done efficiently. Me doing another I, fucking the mission. Seamus, he's our new partner. I ain't no such thing. Prospective new partner, if he likes us. Liking ain't the problem. Trusting Ooh, is, as I right said. There. Keep your voices down. I don't want my boss hearing. This is a sideline. Of course. Look at us. Honest as the day is long. Exactly. I'll tell you what. Let us prove ourselves. <laughs> prove ourselves to this clown? What you talking about? Good day, Hosea. Good luck with your business dealings. Listen, he's rough and ready and quick with his tongue, but I swear you can trust him and trust me. I'm an old man. You're not old, Seamus. I'm old enough. And you know why I ain't dead? You don't trust idiots. Exactly. We're not. Idiots, let us prove it to you. Okay, I'll tell you what. What are we gonna Hi. do for him? Old Bob Crawford and his boys just bought a beautiful stolen stagecoach from upstate. It's in their barn. Now you go get that, and then we can work together. Who's old Bob Crawford? An acquaintance of mine. So you want us to take out your competition? Well, he, he's not just an acquaintance, but a cousin Ooh. by marriage. I also want to see if you boys got what it takes. Now, you survived that. Where is he? Well, he's in a farmhouse just northwest of here called Carmody Dell. That's just up the train tracks as you're heading up towards Fort Wallace. 
There's also some money in that house, but that's your business, not mine. But don't kill nobody. Okay. Folks know we ain't intimate no more, and they'll know it was me. But you're fine with us robbing your cousin. By marriage. <laughs> and yes, I'd love it. <laughs> you heard the man. Let's go rob his cousin. By marriage. By marriage. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> All right, well, we activated another mission, but, like, let's do it anyway. It's fine. Really? Really. Lead the way. He said the place is just northwest of here. Me? The other one who's been out gallivanting around here. That's what you call it. Oh, clearly you've recovered from your bear encounter. <laughs> Yep. Carmody Dell. Well, we'll have to save Mary's brother another time then. We've got uh we got something we gotta rob now. Yep. Could have played that better, couldn't you? In what way? Thought you wanted me here to show some strong arm. That's usually how it goes. Yes, but you know how this works. Come on, Hosea. That feather's a joke. And that's why he's perfect. He won't cause us any problems. A safe spot to fence wagons and coaches? That's easy money for us. I guess you're right. Come on, it's not like he's asking us to rob a bank. That's true. If the two of us can't steal a stagecoach from Seamus' old crooked cousin by marriage, by marriage <laughs> we should hang up our hats now. So, what's the story with that Emerald Ranch? You find out anything else? A little. Owner's a nasty type by all accounts. Mm. Seamus is sure scared of him. That's not saying much. <laughs> Something strange Arthur. about the place. Used to be a saloon there, general store. Now it's all closed up, but they seem to have money. Sounds worth a look around. For sure. Seamus also mentioned the rancher's daughter a couple of times. Oh, yeah. Now he used to see her around all the time, and now she never leaves the house. Yeah. Probably just sweet on her. Mm, no. That what you call finding out a little? <laughs> Once he opens up, seems Seamus does like to talk. Me. <laughs> Hopefully not too much. Arthur! I don't think he likes talking, but people just do it to him all the time. They just talk at him constantly. But I want to know more about that daughter that's cooped up in the house and can never leave. The one that the weird woman, the weird woman that we picked up and rescued. The one she was talking about, too. What's going on here? That must be the place up ahead. We should go on foot from here. Let's see what we're dealing with. Come on. Hello, Hosea. Scope out Carmody Dell. There's the house. I see the barn in the back. Stagecoach has to be in there. So how do we how do we steal a stagecoach? That sounds rather large. Okay, let's take a quick look at the place. Okay. I reckon we could do it now. Sneak in, and I'll get the coach. You can try the house. Or wait until morning when I'll head over, distract them by putting on a little show. While you sneak into the house, find what you can, and then get the stagecoach. What do you think? Oh no, we're gonna have to choose. Night sounds kind of exciting. Let's do it now. All right. I reckon we're ready. So I just sneak in there? Let's go. And not wake up anybody? Maybe take a peek through the windows before you go in. Make sure it's all quiet. I'm scared. What if I get caught? Like, what happens then? What happens if I get caught here? Well, I'm gonna fail at this, I just know it. Well, 
Well, it looks fine. Should we look at more of the windows? I'm not sure. There's a person right there. There's a person right there. We should put on our bandana. We should, I mean, we should put on our bandana. Oh my god. This is such a bad idea. It's the worst idea I've ever had in my entire life. Scared. I'm scared, y'all. Oh, this is scary. Oh, I'm scared. Oh, there's an upstairs, too. Oh, that's terrifying. We should just leave while we're ahead. We've gotten quite Get enough. On, dear boy. We don't need any more than that, do we? We're good. We're just fine. Yeah. My fucking god. We literally went into someone's home. And we got a stagecoach. I hope our horse just follows us, you know. I can't believe it. Nicely done. We got everything we needed. And I'm pretty sure they never even knew I was there. And they did. This way. Less problems the better right now. Just need to get this back to Seamus in one piece and it's a good night's Oh work. my goodness. So what were you able to lift from the house? Everything. Found some money stashed away. Must be a few hundred, not too bad. Not bad at all. Glad we checked the chimney. Yep. This was easier than hunting a thousand pound <laughs> grizzly anyway. Very true. Why aren't we on the damn road? Sorry, sorry. I'm on the road now. <laughs> no doubt. I won't forget that in a hurry. Neither will I. I'm looking forward to your retelling of that one around the campfire. Huh. I love campfire stories. The first time Mr. Matthews had stared Even Charles' in the campfire eye. story. And as usual, he did not flinch. Yeah, exactly. How long do you think we're going to stick around here for? Dutch not sure. said we're going to move west soon, yeah, we right? Can't, I suppose. Feels like we're starting to get back on our feet, slowly but surely. Just need to keep at it. Dutch has a new money chest stashed in a safe spot away from camp, but it's a long way from being full. Okay, here we are. Just pull the coach into the barn there. Hey. Hello, Seamus. We met your cousins. How was it? Uneventful. Fine. Nice people. <laughs> nice people. <clears throat> Park that thing in here. Quickly. So now uh, that we stole it, what does he want to do in. with it? <laughs> it was mostly Arthur. Like I said, coarse, but competent. Here. I am very competent. Thank you. Thank you. If you find any other coaches that need selling, I'll see what I can offer you for them. 
but discreet, you know. Of course. Goodbye, gentlemen. I'm heading back to camp, I think. You coming? Uh, decline. Nah, I'll catch up with you later. Okay. Stay out of trouble. I still want to go rescue Jamie. Gang share. Door share. What is this entire white area? Search for Lily Millet in Emerald Ranch. Alright, I guess we'll search for Lily. But I was gonna save Jamie! Oh, there's so much to do all the time! But everyone looks to be asleep. Lily Millet, you know where she is? I don't know. You know where Lily Millet is? Nah. Uh, Lily Millet. Where can I find her? Yep. Alright, it's time for you to go now. Alright, then. Alright, so he was negative 100 helpful. Lily! Oh, it's that weird instrument again. I need to find a ranch maid here called Lily Millet. You know where she is? She's with Cooper over by the store. Oh. We have narrowed down our search. Why it always gotta be such a oh. goddamn performance with you? Now, I told you I'd get you the money next week, and I'll get it. If you didn't make it this week, who's to say you'll make it next? Don't you take that tone with me. Oh. I thought you said you loved I me. Do. Oh. I do. do, but what I get paid ain't enough for one person, let alone two. Your money's gotta be your problem now. The only problem I got is this bleating going on in my ear. Rude. Now, lay off it, Lily. God damn it. Lily, where's our money? What? That loan you took. It's payday. I'm sorry. I don't have it right now. Well, then. I guess we got a big problem, don't we? Cooper, give him what you've got. I ain't giving him nothing oh. except a lesson in damn money. Oh, you're gonna give me a lesson? I don't fucking think so. How do I dodge again? Oh. my hat <laughs> look at all those witnesses though at least the debt is recovered hey, you got oh, your I money leave me alone oh, hear about this I didn't steal that it's a debt oh, damn it what do you want I've got nothing to say to you where you think you're going stop get back here you're about to get your face broke! You this forget is it. Oh my god! Oh my god! That's- that's- that's horrible! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh! I'm gonna die! This is such a bad decision! At least I had my mask on. Oh my good lord. Well that was terrifying. Oh my goodness. I didn't want to kill the witness. Damn it! Because remember one time we stopped a witness and they were okay, but this guy just pulled out his fucking gun. So rude. Let's just keep our face, our bandana on for the rest of eternity and never take it off. <sighs> so many decisions, so much angst in this episode today. So many bad decisions on my end too. I was gonna try to stop him. Well, I mean, I have my bandana on, so it's like, good, right? It's like, okay, right? And I'm glad that while we were over here, we did the heist thing with Jose. That was kind of fun. I liked that it was really short. It was really good. I mean, well, actually not good, because we snuck into someone's house and we uh, took everything from them. But in the meantime, we've got, we've got a child to save. A uh, child of our former lover. Yeah. I definitely want to do that. I'd really love for her to become- Well, she's a widow now. She's a widow now. Like, why can't she be our lover? Like, she's free. She's available. I would still be okay with us being with Mary Beth or uh, Sadie. But, I mean, if- If if Mary decides to just come with us. Talk all you want, lady. You won't make no difference. Prison transport. Keep clear. Alright. This isn't right. 
What's going on here? Answer my goddamn questions! This a traveling circus or something? Boo! Now! You used up my patience! Just what in the hell is your problem? It's just on my way. Well, I wanna know what if- I said leave! Now get going! Alright, I'll leave. I mean, what if they're locking someone innocent up? Well, you yeah. know what? <laughs> we gotta save Jamie. We can't be concerning ourselves with people who are just- getting locked up willy-nilly even if it wasn't their fault. Well, I mean, it wouldn't really let me do anything else. All right, this is where we were. My lips are getting chopped. I need some chopstick. We've been playing for a while today. Oh shit, we have been playing for a while. Ooh, ooh, I should, mm, mm, I should take a break. Sip some water, eat a snack. Mm. It's becoming daylight. Hey. Hey, 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 hey. Where's my... I need this. Hey, back off! Hey, hey, back off. Skin. Yes, why, thank you. I win the skin right, this wolf. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Poor wolfies. I mean, I didn't have to kill them, but I felt like they were gonna still chase me, you know? Oh, you can't yep. go that way. Okay, well, now you can. Okay, that's fine. The stress. The stress in this episode today, my goodness. It's been really overcast for this entire episode, hasn't it? Weird. <laughs> Shell of safety. Shell of safety. Can I speak to the boy? Arthur? Hello, son. Your sister is very worried. The boy has chosen a path, sir. Well, the path to I'm here to make sure he unchooses that path. Well, I mean, his sister just wants to speak with him. Arthur, I've chosen a path. The wrong path. The boy has chosen a path. He's chosen safety. What path have you chosen, sir? Unsafety. <sighs> I'm still searching, I guess. We are all searching. Chelonianism is about searching. What do we search for, do you think? Love, fulfillment, purpose. Hmm. I don't know. Safety? Safety and meaning? Maybe these guys aren't so bad. Jamie knows the truth. But of course, you may speak with him. Exactly. If your teachings are so great, what harm can I do? Well, at least they're letting me I'm... speak with him. Oh no. I'm not. Come back here, kid. I'm not coming with you, Arthur. Just come and speak with Mary. Then make up your mind. Chill. Leave me alone, Arthur. I didn't ask for your help. He got on that horse real quick. Come here, boy. I'm gonna set you right, unless, like, you're happy with your choices. I mean, at the same time, I, I also, like, what if your sister doesn't know what's best for you? But I feel like, um, she may. I feel like you may be making a mistake, but then again, it's not really my place to get involved, but like, here I am, we're gonna get involved anyway. Oh, shit. Oh, he's all the way over there, come back. Oh, he's getting so far away. Very bad at chasing. 
Wait, that might be a cliff. Oh, oh, well, we're just gonna make it work, aren't we? Come back here, boy! Come back! Did I run over an animal? Shit. Probably did. Oh my goodness. He's a good writer. Look at him. Come back here, boy. Please. For the love of Jesus Christ. Jamie, I swear. Please, Arthur. I'm a man now. I, I found something. A calling. You're just a kid. You're making a big mistake. I'm not taking advice from you. You're an outlaw. You leave me alone. They're good people! I mean... I'm warning you, Arthur Morgan! Now you don't have a horse, though. Leave me alone! Please, kid. Put that gun down. I warn you, Arthur! I'm... I'm gonna... I don't want to live anymore! Kid, just calm down. Leave me alone! Now calm down! Let's go see your sister. Okay. Oh. Okay. It's okay, kid. Have I been a terrible fool, Arthur? No, it's okay. I don't know. I don't know enough about it. But one thing I do know. There ain't no shame in looking for a better world. I miss you, Arthur. Are you and Mary sweet on one another again? Oh, no. That's all a long time ago, son. Are we just gonna- is he just gonna leave his horse? This wasn't how I thought today would turn out. It's been a long time, Jamie Gillis. You were a kid last time I saw you. you didn't try to kill yourself. <laughs> you know, you taught me how to ride a horse. Too well, apparently. Shalonia, though? Really? You'd fall for that? They were very nice to me. They're decent. I'm sure. Please tell me you didn't give them any money. Of course I did. They rely on charitable donations. Jesus, Jamie, come on. I just wanted to believe that there might be something good coming my way one day. Guess that's dead in the water. With no, the turtle. Shut up. <laughs> All father kept telling me was, you won't amount to anything. You're not enough of a man. I had to get away. Oh, I couldn't take we it understand anymore. that. Forgive me, but your father's a bully and a coward. Yeah. Don't listen to him. Hey, don't talk about him like that. <laughs> what do you want me to say, Jamie? He's a good father, nice man. He won't be happy I saw you. It's none of Please his business. Send him my worst regards. <laughs> Thing is, he's right. No. I'm not good at anything. You're good at something. Come Everyone on, is always good at true. something. Tell me something you like. Um, well, um. Don't think too hard. Apples, I guess. Apples? You're good at. Yeah, I love well, apples. Well, I mean, that's something. Okay. I was thinking more along the lines of carpentry or <laughs> horses or something, but. All right, go work in an orchard. Baby. Yeah, do that. By that token, you must really like shooting and robbing people. Well, I only like shooting young idiots who run away from me when I'm trying to help them. Your father told me what you do. I'm sure he did. 
Hey, are you still with Dutch and what was his name? H Hester? Jose. Yep. yep Jose. Still the same, sort of. And Annabelle and Bessie? I'm afraid they're dead. Shit. Maybe Mary did make the oh, right choice. Oh, shut the fuck up. No. No, doubt. no, she should be with me. But none of it is anything like the nonsense you read in the newspapers. So, are you two getting back together? I, I told wish. you. No. Just ask me for a favor. You know Barry Linton's dead? Yeah. Pneumonia. He told me. Yep. So the door's open, so to yep. speak. Yep. <laughs> That's all in the past. We're different people now. She's not. And you seem just the same. <laughs> well, maybe that right there's a problem. She was always too good for me. Oh, now, Let's just Arthur. get you back to your sister. She's waiting at the station for us. I just want Arthur to have a wife and to have love and happiness in his life. Oh, God. Here we are. She must be waiting inside. Watching. Sorry. Are we going in then? Yeah. Isn't this the entrance? I don't see the need for that mask here. Oh, sorry. Jamie! Jamie! Is she Come leaving? Home. Please, you've... I think she's Father's leaving. Father's been very sad. My father wouldn't know sadness if it died in his bed. But I'll come home for you. My boy. My sweet boy. Come on. Oh, Arthur. She's leaving. Thank you. Thank you. It's good to see you, Mary. And you, Arthur. And you. What did she give me? Oh, or am I helping her? I might be helping her with her bags. Oh, I... I thought she was gonna shake her hand, but she just gave us her bag to carry. I've... You're... Oh, you'll never change. I know that. I don't need to change! I wish that she could have. I mean, families almost never accept. They're, they're not the most accepting, right? But like, she could have accepted us. So maybe it's good that she's not I in feel like the luckiest man alive, and I feel like a fool. That woman confuses me and plays me for a fiddle like no one else alive. I trust I will not make a god awful fool of myself once more, but. Somehow, I imagine I shall. <sighs> I'm- I- I'm- I'm kind of disappointed. That, that just broke my fucking heart, the entire thing with Mary. <sighs> I just- I really wish that she uh, could have accepted say. us, you know? Well, to get really personal, there were parts of my family that weren't very accepting to Caleb at all, but it didn't really matter because I accepted him, you know? Uh, eventually, I, we just forced everyone to accept us, you know? But I know that some people are really, really close to their families and everything, but it wouldn't have mattered if her family didn't accept Arthur if she had accepted Arthur. And she couldn't, apparently, from what I saw. Look here. You want to catch another center bounty hunter? Take a gander at the poster there. Okay there. Evening, sir. Let's do a bounty. Nasty individual. Ooh. Wanted a life for questioning. Known as the Black Widow. Oh, I want to read this. All right. Twenty-five dollar reward will be paid to the arrest of Ellie. And Swan wanted for the crime of matricide. Oh, the above amount will be paid immediately for the delivery of the prisoner. Wanted alive for questioning. Unknown male may be manipulating her. Let's flip. Alright. 
I'll take it. <laughs> I think we have time for one bounty today, and that then we one? can be done. They say she's sleeping rough near Cumberland Falls. Mm. And what's more, they say she ain't sleeping alone. Yeah. No. I got it. But we want her alive. We got enough to wrap around here from the livestock. Oh. You, um, okay. Doing okay. All right then. Let's go arrest her and bring her back. And then we should go back to camp and rest up and end the episode for today. I don't see this bounty taking a whole lot of time, especially because it's twenty-five dollars. The first one we did was fifty, right? I think in the first or second episode we went to the theater, and they gave us. No, it was the second episode. Um, they gave us like this little movie about bears, right? Um, would it be different if we went back or do you think it would be the exact same movie? I feel so bummed out about the whole Mary thing. I really do, guys. There's so much pain in Arthur's eyes and I think that actually, I think it really humanized him to have that entire mission and that entire encounter with Mary, but at the same time, it just broke my fucking heart. Doesn't that just fucking break your heart? <laughs> You must have taken a wrong turn somewhere. Just walk away, you nosy idiot. Should I shoot them? Just looking to pass through. That's it. Hey, jackass! You need to leave. Should we kill them? You're dead. Well, if I'm gonna commit a crime. Okay, let's get this out. I got your Oops. Why isn't this bitch dying? Wait, there's so many of them. We should probably, like, leave. Oh my god. Our, we need something for our health. <laughs> I was wondering if we'd have to kill these guys or if we could come to some sort of arrangement, but looks like we had to kill them. Quite unfortunate, but just the way life is sometimes, I suppose. And we have our mask on, so maybe it'll be okay. Oh, <sighs> so much excitement. I mean, see, like, it's it's worth it. We're picking things up. I suppose we could have gone around them, but oh, there might be, like, goodies in the wagon. Oh, yes, please. <laughs> Let's search this. Hmm. Oh, we're kind of like full up on things, aren't we? Is that all there is? I think that's it. Well, we got some things from them. That's good. On our way to find what's her face? L Swan? It's a pretty name. Unless I'm remembering it incorrectly. I do that sometimes. I'm like, oh, that's such a great name, but like, I'm saying it incorrectly, and uh, well, there's only so much information my brain can store at one time. I do have a particularly crappy working memory, though. Long-term memory's not so bad, actually, but th the short-term working memory, uh, <laughs> if there was a surgery for it, I would get it. <laughs> I'll put it that way. <laughs> it's okay, we all got our weaknesses, we all got our strengths. Just like Arthur here. I feel like this episode was really focused on building Arthur up as a person. Like, I, I mean, he's showed a lot of like human qualities before, but there was something about everything that we've done in this episode today that's just really made me think of him as like an actual person. You know, he's flawed, he, he, and contrary to what I probably thought in the past, he does feel regret. He does feel guilt for some of the things he does. That sounded like a really cute animal, whatever that was. Oh, but aren't we wanted here? Oh shit, we're like hella wanted here though, aren't we? Oh no. <laughs> 
I should have paid off the bounty here, but like I have no money. There's gonna be bounty hunters after me. Well, I have my mask on. Maybe they won't recognize me. What's that? I was about to say cantaloupe. That's some sort of deer thingy, right? All right, she's somewhere in this area, huh? How do I find her? weren't my sweetheart. He was a bully, okay? And he got what was coming. Now, you gonna come over here and romance me? It says there's other fellers. It says right there in black and white. <laughs> Y'all talking about Frank and Henry. And Howie. Do I just have to I go down here? Bad luck with my men folk is all. Bad luck. Until I met you. That there's a bounty hunter. Get him. shit. Diane, I, I'm sorry, but I, I, I'm, I'm gonna make you go with the feller. What Ow. kind of man are you? you girl, know. girl. Um, I'm pretty sure she stabbed us. Stabbing. Good lord, woman. All right, let's hog tie her and then uh, grab all the shit in here. You are a piece of work. Now, come in. Uh, right in it. Don't you manhandle You were stabbing me, sis. <laughs> Wait, is this my horse? Yes. Looked a little different in the light. Nope. Nope. Dough. Now, I'm going to make sure I didn't miss anything here. Oh, canned salmon! She's not gonna like fall off of there, right? There's that cheese. I'm worried that she's gonna like escape if I leave her alone. Oh, we are not treating that body gently, are we? Canned meat? Hell yeah. Then we should probably get out of here. So remember, we're like low key kind of wanted. In this area. Settle in. You got a ride ahead of you. Should I cross in this water? It'll be fine, right? <laughs> Actually, not so much. But, like, she's only drowning a little bit, so it's okay. Alright. Well, we didn't drown her, thankfully. So, it should all be good now. I need help, okay? I, I have an illness. This the help you're looking for. <laughs> oh, what's your illness, though, girl? What does she mean? Uh, I should have let her talk before I hit her. Kind of cut her off there with my fists. You're such a strong man. So tough and burly. Maybe if I had. I ain't falling for it. See, this is what I call oh, gender shit. equality. <laughs> if Arthur's gonna hit a man. You said he better I wish I'd cut hit a woman. <laughs> and also, she stabbed us. Like, I don't care if it's gentlemanly or not. Like, if someone stabs you, male, woman, anyone else, like, uh, you, you're allowed to fucking hit them. I don't care what anyone says about that. Let's try not to run over any cute animals. And we'll drop her off and we'll head back to camp and then we'll have ourselves a great day. A very productive day. What was that? Are we healed? Are we dying? What did, what did that little slash on our screen mean? Guys, I'm really starting to fall in love with this game. Like when uh, we first started it, of course I liked it. But like this episode, I'm really becoming invested with these characters. I'm really just beginning to enjoy the gameplay even more than I used to. Like, oh my goodness. I'm just, I'm really enjoying myself here. You know, I don't think it'll even be a problem if this playthrough takes us all the way until June. <laughs> Cause I'm just enjoying myself so much. I wish I could do it a little more often, but your girl is, um, busy. <laughs> Always busy. I mean, she could be more efficient in her time, um, but she's not. She makes, uh, she wastes quite, 
quite a bit of her time. Very often. We're coming up on the jailhouse. Anything else you want to try on me? You damn fool! Just get me there. You're no fun at all. I'm afraid I ain't. <laughs> it's kind of cool that we got a woman. That we had to go after a bad woman instead of a bad man. <gasps> kind of cool. Our health could use some... Could use a little work. Does she have red hair? You order a lady killer here, Sheriff? <laughs> yeah, we did. Put her in the cell, won't you? I, I protest my innocence. I protest. Well, you can my you can protest all you want, lady. She might be a little shaken up. She lost another feather out by the falls. Poor dear. <laughs> I just got a habit of dying around you, don't they, Mrs. Swan? I hope you'll be comfortable, Miss. She'll be fine. Now come get your money off the desk here. Where's my money? Oh, he might be getting my money. Thank you. The Black Widow herself. This town's so starved of women, I'm sure she could find herself a husband yet. <laughs> yeah, that's cowboys for you. <laughs> Indeed. So, it seems this town's got more pressing problems than outlaws. Gonna take some time off posting bounties, impose law and order on the streets. That man has a heart of stone. Alright, good to know, Sheriff. It's silly to keep me locked up in here. I don't want to melee him. I mean, what am I gonna do? Just little old me. Let me out. Let me in a scary. To exercise a little. I'm immune to your charms, Mrs. Swan. It's so boring in here. Can we have some fun, Sheriff? Oh my goodness. Just the two of us. And to think you were sniffing around this office at one point. I'm lucky you was charmed by another. Oh! Wait, y'all! You see, Sheriff? Y'all! No wait a minute! Spirits. And I could spread them all over. Like, Miss Moya? Don't you dare mention Moira again! Now, hush. Wasn't the sheriff talking to someone back in episode one or two? Oh. Show me some sympathy, Sheriff. I'm a widow. A poor little widow. You forget? They can say what they like about you, but at least you respected the sanctity of marriage. Till death do us part. <laughs> Remember how the sheriff was like chatting with someone and then he like ushered her out the back door when I first came in? Oh. Oh. I don't think people like it when I wear my mask here in Valentine. Alright, let's eat something. Maybe we should eat a few more things. Oh, that... We've kind of eaten. It, it's not doing a whole lot anymore. At least it did something It halfway filled up our core. Alright, let's go back home and then end our episode for today. This has been such a blast to play, honestly, today. Oh, I still want to do the pictures side mission at one point. Remember how we got pictures in like the first or second episode? The first or second episode just blend together in my brain for some reason, but I'm surprised that no one tried to stop us or arrest us or kill us when we were getting L Swan. Because remember how we're wanted in that area? I'm kind of surprised. Oh, I need a waypoint, sorry. I was wondering, I'm like, I think I'm going in the right direction. But, hmm, don't really know quite for sure. It's a little less cloudy today than it was when we began this episode. I don't know how many days it's been, though. The way that time works in this game, I haven't really made an effort to understand it yet, but we will eventually. <laughs> oh, it got super cloudy again, never mind. It was really sunny there for a second. Maybe it was, maybe it was because I was, like, looking directly at the sun, though. <laughs> We're almost home, sweet home. Oh, kind of went into a tree. It's me, Bill! Oh, shit. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Ah, well. Well done, Arthur. You found the Irish Terrier. Sadly. He's just a younger version of you. Please don't say that to me, Dutch. Was it, is he talking about Micah? <laughs> oh, it's true. <sighs> it's true. Hmm. Interesting. Well, we've definitely grown since then, if we were apparently like Micah when we were younger. Let's sleep for... wow. Oh. Uh, hmm. We should... Hmm. 
How long should we sleep? Let's just sleep for a long time. We need to, we need to rest up. It's been a long day. Her health is doing better. Let's just sleep until morning. I, I, I don't want to wake up at night. For some reason that really bothers me. My fucking chapstick. I need some peppermint on my lips. I want them to sting. All right, it is morning and it is still cloudy, probably for the rest of our lives. <laughs> when we pick this up next time, we're gonna do the chores, then we're gonna do uh, the John thing, whatever he wants. And then, yeah, this one. And then maybe maybe we should do more bounties, I guess. We'll do, uh, we'll probably do all of that in the next episode. That'll be fun. We've, we've got lots to look forward to. But in the meantime, I had a lot of fun with today's episode. I really feel like I know Arthur better. I think I'm connecting to him a lot better in this episode or more so in this episode than any other episode before it. And it was just, it was a good ass time. Although a lot of these encounters have left me feeling kind of empty inside. Like the one with Mary, I'm mad at Micah. I don't like Micah. Um, he said we should visit him. I don't think I want to. <laughs> Maybe we'll run into him in the future, but Micah's a little bloodthirsty for my liking. Like, we take lives when they're when they're trying to kill us, unless specifically denoted that they should stay alive, like El Swan, I guess. But if someone's shooting at us, I feel like I it's not a bad thing if I shoot back. However, uh, Micah just shoots because he fucking can. Uh, what Dutch said about um, Micah being like a young version of Arthur. That's really really interesting. That means Arthur has really grown as a person Since he probably originally met Dutch, right? I don't know guys I just I had a lot of fun with the five finger knife game I feel like we just accomplished a lot in today's episode and I just had a lot of fun with it And I really feel like I'm connecting to these characters like I know we haven't been playing the game that long But it really it really kind of feels like they're family. I teared up so many times today I never want that to ever happen ever again. <laughs> I had fun with this episode. I hope you guys did too. And until the next episode of whatever we're doing, I hope you guys have a great day. Bye guys.